Welcome to the first chapter of our course, OWASP Top 10 Minutes Hack. This is where it all begins. Hack your way in. That's exactly what they'll do if you don't lock things down. According to OWASP, identification and authentication failures are a major concern. Over 200,000. That's the total number of cryptographic failures found in applications tested as part of the OWASP Top 10 dataset. With an average CVSS of 7.4, it sits firmly in the high-risk zone. This isn't a minor flaw. It's a real gateway to sensitive systems. Data exfiltration. Sensitive data from internal systems can be retrieved and sent out without triggering alarms. An attacker, knowing this, injects a stored cross-site scripting payload in a public comments section, targeting the admin. The goal is to exploit the admin's elevated privileges and gain unauthorized access to protected areas of the application. On the left, we have a vulnerable version of the search products function. This code takes user input from the query string and directly inserts it into a SQL select statement. Now look at the secure version on the right. Let's explore the key remediation strategies that can help you defend your applications. Apply security libraries and frameworks that offer built-in protection against injection, like Prisma for Node.js. Let's jump into the hands-on practice. And the total price is 3.89, just as expected. They probably assumed the quantity would always be zero or higher. Let's try to break this logic. And look, the quantity parameter really is set to minus 10. Give me a few moments to do that. Wow, it worked. The total is now minus 19.9. That could be a serious problem for this store if exploited in real life. Let's move on to fixing this vulnerability. Open VS Code. Here's the quantity check function responsible for updating the basket. The fix is simple. If quantity is less than zero, the app will return a 400 status code and the message invalid quantity must be a number larger than zero. Let's use our full restart function to speed things up. Sign in using previously saved credentials. This time, before pressing the plus button, let's use another of Burp's suite basic features, the intercept mode. Now scroll to the bottom of this request and change the quantity parameter's value to negative 20. Ready? Click forward again. Click on it and look at the response. The app returned a 400 status and an error message about an invalid quantity value. We've just fixed our first logic flaw. We've covered the essentials of insecure design. Let's wrap it up. These flaws can lead to authentication bypass, business logic manipulation or unauthorized access, leading to severe data breaches and financial loss. To prevent these issues, incorporate security into every phase of development. We're exploring whether AI can actually support us in secure coding. Let's see if the machine can save us from the machine. It analyzes the full code base and takes initiative, almost like a junior dev with caffeine and confidence. Klein didn't just magically detect that MD5 was a security problem. That would be nice, but that's not how this works. We told it exactly what to do. Replace MD5 from password hashing with bcrypt. Specify the salt rounds. This is a perfect example of what we talked about earlier with prompt specificity. The quality of your prompt directly determines the quality of the output. Garbage in, garbage out. Bottom line, security needs more than just good suggestion. It needs thoughtful implementation. AI tools often build queries by concatenating strings instead of using parameterized queries. Sometimes it's not what you ask, but how you ask it. The way you phrase your prompt can completely change the outcome. It's the same assistant, same code base, but guided by better instructions. Prompts are your steering wheel and security starts with the direction you give. Let's connect this with what we've learned in the core OWASP top 10 course, one per vulnerability that can help guide AI toward better, more secure results. First, take access to control. You can ask the assistant to review an endpoint and check if users can access each other's data by tampering with ID parameters. First, the AI starts analyzing the issue and scans the code base for any JSUVT related logic. Then in just a blink, it applies the fix Everything happens at lightning speed. Let's analyze the result. First, it updated the is authorized function in lib insecurity.t. Now let's hit send and voila, we get a 401 unauthorized. We've successfully implemented the fix with vibe coding and a carefully crafted prompt guiding the AI to secure. You've just completed the bonus chapter on AI and vibe coding for security. Now you know how to use AI more intentionally and securely with the right prompts.